my, 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 my. Creativity, it is an addiction. I was right there with a guy last night. <laughs> my girlfriend's not sleeping. Oh my God, I, I can't. She's, she's, she's got to get some rest. She's got, what, what is she doing with her creativity, dude? What's, what's going on? And I sat there and I listened to him and he wanted to buy a bunch of, of sleeping aids. NyQuil, Z-Quil, Benadryl. I'll, I'll, come on. And I said, can we have a conversation? Creativity is an addiction. We are addicted to the process and the progress of what it will do to our mind, body, and soul at two, three o'clock in the morning. But you know what? People don't bitch about what creativity does to them at two, three o'clock in the afternoon unless somebody is stealing their art to benefit their business. And, and, and what I mean by that is, is that writing and producing commercials, the salesperson always drives a better car than I do, has a bigger house. You know, it, it kind of gets to you. You got to understand that creativity is an addiction and you have to learn how to work with it and not against it. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Amen. 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 I don't know why I did that. That's what stream thinking is all about. You're not supposed to explain what you're doing in the presence of now. It just happens. Tropical Storm Claudette is still moving through this area. Yeah, she's long into the, into the, the ocean. But the remnants of a tropical storm, the moments afterwards, are, are what bring more rain and wind and things like that. You know, people always think that, oh my God, you, you went through a hurricane or a tropical storm? Yeah, well, it's not the actual event of that storm that brings the damage. It's everything afterwards because the ground is so soaked that trees begin to go, fall, the wind and things like that. So you sit there and you go, amen, amen. <laughs> hey, Zero. This is stream thinking, the power of now, learning how to trust free form writing. I challenge myself every day. It, it is my discipline. Every day, one page, 10 minutes to write, absolutely no editing whatsoever because it creates time to talk about it in the end. I believe that our best decisions are made in the presence of right now. It's time to own your own leadership, the power of now. We are reading from June 20th, 2021. Um, this, this writer that day had a, uh, a situation. It was, it was one where he needed to be singing. Amen. <laughs> he needed it so desperately. Um, this, is, this is what he put on the page. I, I'm going to get on a subject that has burned a lot of bridges. Before the digital term ghosting was put into effect, the truer heart faced its weakest link. And said, absolutely no more. You see, my level of disconnection, oh my God, it will rise when I'm working side by side with somebody whose decision in the moment is to half ass the project. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to turn you off. I know I said half ass. I'm going to say it many more times. But see, the thing is, when we half ass a project, every one of us are guilty of one time or another of being a half-asser. I'm very forgiving of those days when you half-ass a project, but when you do it over and over and over again, I, I got a problem. I, I got a problem. Now, I want you to know that I, I have done some research, and, and that's what you need to know about me, that, that by the time I get on this microphone, I have done so much research on human behavior that, that I at least have maybe, maybe, maybe this much knowledge. This much knowledge, but you got to see my experience compared to itty bitty bits of, of knowledge. I got a lot of experience because I'm open to it. I researched this thing called half assing, mainly because I, I need to know. I, I need to know how to handle, as a leader, how to handle a situation when the half asser thinks that they're dominating the picture because they ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen on my clock. That's not going to happen. I'm going to call your ass out. And that's exactly what the research says. That when you've got a half-asser, you got to call him out. you got to tell him, uh-uh, uh-uh. We ain't doing it that way. 
But there are moments in days, especially at 10, 11 o'clock at night, when you look at the half-asser and you're tired of being the teacher. You're tired of being the leader. And, and so bad you want to say, all right, I'll, I'll accept this. But you know what? Then you've become the half-asser. Man, when, 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 I'm, when I'm leading people and I need my team to be greater than yesterday, you ain't going to half-ass on my time. I'm not an ass for being this way. I, I really want to be the generator of success. It's the way I've always been. I, I didn't half-ass my radio career. If I did, do you think I'd still be in it 42 years strong? No. Half-assers don't make it to 42 years. So the thing is, is that that's what I want to do with you. And I think that's the message of this, this stream thinking today is that look, we're all guilty of being a half-asser. We're all guilty of it. You know, when, when, when it comes to doing my lawn or my laundry, I'm a half-asser. Okay. I, I accept that. And, and it really does bother me deeply. Oh, and I write about it. I, I do. Because why is it I can be a half-asser at home, but when you put me in a business, this dude ain't half-assing anything. And, and it's, like, it's like, what, you, you, you can't put yourself up to a level of non-half-assing at home, but you're going to be, you know, like very, very, very in your face when it comes to half-assing at work. You're, you're going you're gonna to call people out? I am. I am. Because I don't need those above me to say, what are you doing, half-assing? No, I'm not. They are. Yeah, but you're the leader of the team, so therefore, you are the half-asser. God, oh, oh, so how do we get beyond this? Be the leader, call them out, call them out. And as we get back into this business world, you know, post COVID-19, because a lot of businesses are saying, you got to get your buns back to the, back to the business. They are. A lot of people are saying, I'm, I'm going to quit my job. No time in the history of America have there been so many quitters in the business world than today. It doesn't feel right. You're not going to treat me like that again. You're a half-asser. Quit half-assing it, man. Get back there and get this planet working again. I, I have no feelings for you. I don't. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go somewhere else. Well, then you're a half-asser. They treated me wrong. Oh, well, they're going to treat you wrong over there, too, because that's just human nature. Look, I, I study it. Pick up the books. Go talk to the professionals. We keep doing the same thing over and over again. Identify yourself as the half-asser and start taking that step forward. You're going to grow wiser when you realize how much of a half-asser you really are. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking. <laughs>